You do not have to have a perfect credit score to buy your first home. Lenders nowadays are looking for a 580 credit score. And a few things that lenders like to see typically are no late pays within the last 12 months. And they want your derogatory account balance to be less than $2,000. Yo, 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 what's popping? How y'all doing today? It's your host, d Saw, with another episode of Money Talk Mondays. Today, we're going to be talking about buying a home with bad credit, right? We're going to be talking about steps you can take to buy a home, even with a low credit score. Now, if you're new watching my show, I'm d Saw. I'm a real estate agent, and I can help you buy real estate in all 50 states. I got my name from helping people just like you who really didn't know what to do, really didn't have a clue on how and what was the first step on buying a home. And I'm going to give you some quick practical steps today on ways I get all of my buyers to buy a home for the first time. I know sometimes it can seem like your credit score is just not moving or you don't know what to do. And just like a bunch of my clients in the past, I know you don't know where to start. I know you don't know where to begin. That's what I'm here for. What I see a lot of mistakes people make is planning to buy a home without a plan. How can you plan to buy a home without a step-by-step -step plan on what you need to do with your credit and how you can get your credit to a high enough credit score to get approved? And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to give you that step-by-step -step plan, a step-by-step -step action plan on things that you can do to get your credit score where it needs to be to get approved. And not only am I going to give you the plan, I'm going to make sure you're accountable. Every month, I'm going to check in with you and ask you how things are going. Now, it's super, super important to know that you do not have to have a perfect credit score to buy your first home. In fact, lenders nowadays are looking for a 580 credit score, right? Now, with that 580 credit scores, there are a bunch of parameters that have to be in place. And a few things that lenders like to see typically are no late pays within the last 12 months. And they want your derogatory account balance to be less than $2,000, right? Even though lenders typically want you to have a 580 credit score, I push all of my buyers to get a 620. The 620 is just going to give you some breathing room. Right. You don't want to be hanging low on that 580 because the criteria is a little bit more strict once you have a lower credit score. Now, one thing that I've been doing for all of my buyers, any buyer that come to me, I always tell them the first thing we need to do is to make a plan. Right. You can't get anywhere without a plan, y'all. So I give all of my buyers a straight step by step plan on what they can do with their current credit score to buy a home. Luckily, I have lenders like Leslie with Movement Mortgage that does an awesome job at calculating what clients need to do to be ready. Now, one of the first things I have my buyers do is talk to my lender. OK, what my lender does is she'll go ahead and take your full mortgage application as if you're going to buy a house today. Right. It's two things that can happen with that. She'll either pre-approve you and we can go start shopping today. Or she'll give you a step-by-step -step plan on what you can do to raise your credit score up so you will be able to get approved for your first home. Let me show you guys a very, very quick example on what she do for my buyers that want to buy a home. So you see here, the client had put in her application. Unfortunately, she got denied, but my lender was able to give her a step-by-step -step action plan on what she can do to get her credit score high enough to be approved for that mortgage loan. Now check it out. As you can see here, she only put in a target score of 580. OK, for all of my podcast listeners that's listening to this via audio, I will leave a link in the description that has the YouTube video of the breakdown of what I'm showing right now. You see, this recommended action plan shows a possible experience score of 586 and TransUnion 583 in two months. That's right. She was able to simulate what my client could do in two months to get the credit scores desired so she can get approved. OK, now here are a couple of things that she's asking the client to do. Now, she wants the Kane and Wiener in this IC system account deleted from her credit report. OK, now we'll talk about a couple of quick things that we can do to get these items removed in just a second. Now, the next thing she wants my client to pay her past due balance with this account right here. OK, now, apparently, if your account is past due, it's going to show a late payment on your credit report. 
So paying this past due is going to dramatically help her credit score improve. OK, the next thing she wants my client to do is pay the full charge off of Credit One Bank. Right. We recommend not settling this account. So this is one mistake that I see a lot of people who are fixing their credit make is that they simply think they can go and settle all of their accounts. My lender provides this report to let us know which account that pretty much needs to be paid off in full for your best chances at buying a home. OK. And the last thing that she wants my client to do is to open a new revolving account with three hundred dollars available credit using the car and making on time payments for two months, then leaving a ten dollar balance. This is a very, very straightforward action plan my client can use to better her credit score to qualify in two months. Right. One of the things the lender wanted for my client to get an open credit card account. So, you know me, I know all of the credit card hacks. So I sent her an unsecured credit builder card that she can apply for right away and get approved in minutes. This credit card does not leave a hard inquiry on your credit report. And as a matter of fact, for the listener that need one, I'll drop a link to that credit card right in the description. OK, so that was one of the first things that she did. She went ahead and applied for that credit card, got approved immediately. So the next thing was for her to work on some of those negative accounts. Now, you have a few different options when it comes down to getting things deleted from your credit report. Now, one thing that you can do is call the creditor if you have that money and go ahead and pay those balances in full. It's very important to know if you make any payments, if you pay any of your collection accounts off, then please get a letter from the creditor with them agreeing that they're going to remove the account from your credit report. Now, what I recommend is sending a paper delete letter. The way the letter is structured, you're asking the creditor in exchange for your payment of your derogatory account, then they will remove this from your credit report immediately. This is important just in case they don't come through on their word and you have proof from them saying, hey, we will remove this account after your payment. OK, now, if you can't afford to pay off all of the negative accounts on your credit, then you can't enroll in credit repair. You can use any of the credit repair companies out there. You have companies like Lexus and Law. You have companies like CreditRepair.com. So typically, if you're in a home buying process, you don't really want to spend a lot of money on credit repair. So I always recommend to my clients to fix their credit themselves. You can utilize softwares like Credit Repair Hex that will write all of your dispute letters for you. Now, what you can do is you can take the action plan, the step by step action plan that my lender will give you and send it to your credit repair company and let them know these are the items that's most important. I need these deleted so I can get approved for my new home. Right. You can utilize companies like Credit Repair Hex and you can select the negative accounts that you want them to dispute. They'll generate you a full dispute letter with any of the negative accounts on your credit report. Now, while you're doing credit repair, be very, very patient. Be sure to not dispute accounts one time. Keep a multiple dispute system going. If you use credit repair hacks, they'll remind you every single month on when to send that next dispute letter. You dispute them for a minimum of three different rounds and you'll see a lot of your accounts get deleted. And just like that, my lender provided a step-by-step -step action plan. What my clients do is they save a bunch of money from paying for traditional credit repair and they use credit repair hacks for $29 a month and they get all of those accounts deleted. I check on them throughout the process. Every month, I'm sending them an email, I'm sending them a text message and ask them how their credit repair goes. Typically, it takes about three months for my clients to take the action plan that my lender provides Get that over to the credit repair company and get those accounts deleted so they can go ahead and start that home buying process. After we see your results, we'll go ahead and bring you in for a buyer consultation. We'll teach you all about the home buying process from the very start to the very end. And always remember, I'm your agent from credit to close. It doesn't matter where you are in your process. I can provide you with a plan. I'll hold you accountable to that plan and we'll get it going. I appreciate you guys for listening to this episode. If you know anybody that can benefit from these tips, send them this episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and share this to three different friends. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you guys for listening today. Good luck on your credit scores. And remember to call me when it's time to buy your first home. I'll see y'all next time.